What is up, guys? Welcome for our Week 8 battle of the GBAD League. We are taking on Greg and his Los Angeles Clefable. You guys see on the right side what I think he's going to bring. And uh, you guys see on the left side what I am bringing to this game. If you guys missed the team builder, as usual, make sure to check it out in the description down below. I'm challenging Greg as we speak. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit before and uh, talk to you about uh, us making playoffs. Um, so basically, the way that we make playoffs is either by winning this match or the next. Or if Randy or Magic lose either one of their matches, because everybody, uh, there are five people with fewer than four, uh, there are five people with more than three losses, and I can only end up with three losses. And two of those people being Randy and Magic can surpass me, but they would need to win their two, uh, two remaining games, and I would need to lose out. On top of that, they would need to beat me in differential. So, pretty much, as long as I win one of the two matches, I'm secured. I'm good to go. We said it last week. So let's uh, let's start picking the battle rules. We got uh, normal battle. Here we go. Confirm. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you guys uh, are wondering when this is being played, Friday night. <laughs> Friday night right before the upload for the, uh, the uh, team builder. So really last minute actually. I'm uh, going to select participating team. And uh, we're going to choose the one for Greg. Confirm. As you guys see, I have another little team there on the right side. That's uh, for something coming up very soon. I've been working on the thumbnail and whatnot. And uh, let the battle begin. Let's see what Greg brought for us. All right. Let's see what he has. I am ready to change the mons on the layout. Because of all the potential matchups that I have like chosen mons to put the right, on the right side... This is the one where I feel like I could have gotten the most wrong. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever gotten more than two wrong. So, I think I could get three wrong here. But if he doesn't bring Mega Gallade, Zygarde, and at least Rotom, I'm going to be really surprised. Like, those are the main three. I know I put Nihiligo. I, I usually put them in the order of, like, most likely to least likely, kind of like Geo does in the regular GBA. I don't know what's taking Greg so long to... Ch oh, he's probably just doing his intro. I don't know if he's live comming this game. We're going to have to find out. By the way, uh, it's Friday night, and you'd expect most of the games to be played, but I actually, out of those games with Randy and Magic and whatnot, I only know two, one, of the, uh, one out of the two results. So that's just to give you an idea of how, how late all of us are on our games. Hopefully everybody, everybody gets their uploads up on time. This coming from me, who, of course, was late last week, but uh, that's not the case this week, luckily. All right, so what did he bring? Celestila... He brought the Vullaby and the Celesteela over the Marowak and the Galissapod. So no Marowak, no Galissapod. Uh, Marowak and Galissapod, you guys can go away. And we're going to put in Vullaby and Celesteela. Alright, that's not too bad. I think we can handle that. Um, I don't need to put them up here, do I? No, I don't. I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, um, let's grab Celeste, put it over here. And Vullaby right here. Okay, so these are his six. Um... <clears throat> I'm really keen on leading off with Decidueye to scare out the Rotom if he decides to lead with that. Because we are Scarfed, then I can just U-turn. So there's that. Uh, he has the Celesteela, which I can almost switch Thunderous in on. If he leads with Nihiligo to try to get up rocks, I think... Uh, I think Quillfish is my better lead, I want to say. Yeah, so I'm going to lead off with Quillfish. If he leads with Rotom, then I can switch into multiple things on that. I'm not too worried. And uh, we'll keep Kiki over here. I think we're good to go. Charty Berry and Leftovers, yeah. Alright, so we'll confirm that. I'm ready to go. Um, Gallade's annoying. Zygarde's annoying. Steela's annoying. Nihiligo's annoying. Those are the main four that are really annoying. Rotom. Rotom, I think I can deal with. He's got a Shackle a lot. <laughs> but he has the Volibee for Shackle, which is a really good call on Greg's part, I think. To bring the, uh, the Volibee. I did expect it to come, actually. I didn't put it in the top six, but I did see it in at least one of my mocks. I know Johnny brought it for me in, in our mock. And I was able to take it on, but he ran a lot of speed on it, specifically for Umbreon and Cresselia. So I'm curious to see what he did with his Vullaby. We're going to lead off with Quillfish. We're immediately going to get off and Intimidate on the Friends... Who's this? This is the Rotom. Okay. So, wrong lead matchup. Decidueye would have obviously been much better here. I do have the Wakan Berry. I don't know if I want to blow it just yet. Um, he might go for a Will-O-Wisp. I honestly think my best play is just to... I want to say switch out to Cresselia. 
Then he gets a free knockoff with Vullaby. What's my best play here? Umbreon allows in the Gallade. The Sidroid doesn't want to get burned. Yeah. That's tough. I think... I think Cresselia is the least dangerous. So we're going to go to Cress. Cresselia is definitely the least dangerous to switch into here. Because it doesn't give him too much. It gives him his Volibi, that's it. He is going to Volt, obviously. He's going to do a little bit of damage. 190, I should probably turn on the HP bar. Um, 190 out of... What's our total HP? Uh, Cresselia. Hold on. Uh, and uh, by the way, I renamed uh, Metagross. If you guys watched the team builder, I had the wrong nickname. It was like all messed up. Um, so we're going to find out what 190 out of 227 is. Uh, that's 8%, I believe. Uh, hold on. 190 out of 227. No, it's uh, he just did 16% to me with his Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash, default set. Volt switch, 16 to 18. Okay, so it's uh, it's not very specially a special attack invested. If we take off all the special attack, it does 14 to 17. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, so we're going to get our leftovers. Curious to see what he goes into. Uh, Stila is a possibility, for sure. I will switch in Thunderous immediately on that thing. He has one Thunderbolt switch in, and it's uh, Nihiligo. He's going to go to Stila. Uh, sorry, it's Zygarde, excuse me. That's his Thunderbolt switch in. Man, this thing is huge. <laughs> it's actually massive. All right, so he can go for a Leech Seed pretty freely, I want to say. Um, I kind of want to go to Quillfish and start getting up Spikes to limit his switch. In well, three of his Mons are off the ground. Potential of four with Air Balloon uh, and Hilligo. He goes for a Toxic. All right. Uh, I feel pretty safe going into... Blair? Uh, wait, Toxic. He's not gonna get Toxic. What am I talking about? Bakugo's pretty safe. He gets off a Leech Seed. I get up a Spike. He goes back into Rotom and we repeat the process. And then next time, once the Spike is up, but it's just a perpetual... Once the Spike is up, I can go into Thunderous because his switch-ins to Thunderous are usually grounded because his three things off the ground all don't appreciate Thunderbolts. So, yeah, I think I go Bakugo here. Let's switch into Bakugo. That way, I mean, if he is physical, like with Stone Edge, uh, at least I can switch in my Thunderous even easier. I have the Charty Berry, but... We're gonna get off the Intimidate. Does he go for the Leech Seed, and does he connect? He goes for a Toxic. Okay, cool. So we catch that. Good. I figured he would run Toxic on this if he brought it, because it deals with me pretty well. I can Taunt right here, but I think getting up a Spike is a better idea. Like, I don't care if he Leech Seeds. He's gonna get out. Okay, good. Go back to Rotom. Friends, yep. Yeah. All right. So Rotom has Volt Switch, Rotom, Fizz Def, or Defensive, Defensive with Volt Switch, and then Celestila is, so I got up a spike there, I'm pretty sure I wasn't looking at the screen, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got up a spike, uh, Celestila is Toxic, okay, so we know this, okay, I wonder if he would Will-O-Wisp here. I don't want to let in Gallade for free. That's the issue. Like, I never want to let in Gallade for free. So I'm going to go back to Serenity. Uh, as much as I don't want to getting shipped away because of Gallade, I have to go back into it. I do get Leftovers Recovery, so that's nice. Probably just Volt Switch again. No, he goes for Toxic. Okay, so he has Dual Toxic. Interesting. All right. I mean, this is fine. I don't mind Crest being Toxic as long as I don't stay in too long, essentially. That's the idea here. Uh, he's definitely going to go for Volt Switch here, I would assume. So I'm going to... I'm going to go for an Ice Beam, I think. Because it hits the Steel, it hits the Volibee, it hits all of them. Yeah, we'll go for Ice Beam. I don't expect him to want to stay in here for no reason. Volt Switch? Yeah. Alright, so go Zygarde. <laughs> just, just go Zygarde. <laughs> Please. Do that for me. See, that's the thing. I can never bring in Umbreon on his Rotom because of the Volt Switch into Gallade. It's annoying. 
He's gonna go into Volibee. He's gonna catch an Ice Beam. It's not gonna do much, obviously, because this thing is bulky as hell. As we're gonna do... Okay, that's not bad, like 32%. Let's find out what that is. Volibee, blank set versus Cresselia's Ice Beam. If he's 252 HP Eviolite, Eviolite, I'm sitting at 151. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, Ice Beam would normally do 29 to 35, so I actually don't think he has any SPDF investment from the looks of it. Um, I think I'm going to go out into Blair. Blair doesn't need its leftovers. I can taunt this. I need my Wakan Berry for later. So we're going to go out into Blair. I don't feel like staying in on his Dark type with my Psychic type. Just <laughs> just putting that out there. Like That's not prob that's probably not a very smart move. Uh, getting up my rocks sooner rather than later would be a good idea, but I don't feel like coming in with Metagross on this Volibee because I'm pretty sure it's going to fire off a knockoff. Uh, I know that his Rotom is now running Toxic as well as Volt Switch, so I don't think it has Will-O-Wisp. I do not think it has Will-O-Wisp. We've seen three Mons. Volibee, Volibee, Max, HP, Eviolite, more or less, roughly. Not Rufflet, it's a Volibee, guys. Sorry, horrible pun. <laughs> All right, let's see what Greg wants to do. He's taking quite a while on this turn. You better not think be thinking about timing me out. I need to find a way to get in my Thunderous without it taking much damage. Like, that's that's going to be the, uh, the game plan, I think. Get in Thunderous, because his, his team is really weak to Thundee. He's going to withdraw. Okay, what's he going into? Friends, that is the Rotom. I don't really care about that. Because now, now I can actually fire off a foul play. And I don't care if his Gallade comes in, because it's still going to take a good amount of damage. Gallade. Gallade versus uh, Umbreon. Blair. So close combat destroys me. Letting you guys know that now. Uh, Mega takes 77 to 92 from foul play. How much does regular take? Uh, no, that is regular. 77 to 92. Okay, so that's a pretty free foul play, I want to say. I'll just go for it. If he toxics me, he gets toxic in return, so I don't really care. He's going to go for Volt Switch. I'm assuming Gallade's going to come in. That or Selly. Celesteela is also very a very good switch here. i just continue to get up spikes, though. I think on Celesteela this time I might go to Metagross, because it's Spadef. He's going to go into his Vullaby, and I'm going to attempt to taunt it on the following turn. How much is this foul play going to do? Probably like four. Uh, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> roughly around four. Alright, we're going to go for the taunt and hope that we're faster. Don't be a super fast Vullaby, bro. Yes. Good stuff. Now I can throw up a wish if I want to. Can you just taunt? He tried to taunt me. Nice. I'll win this game. I'll win this battle. I will win this 1v1 because I have wish and you don't. So I could realistically just throw out another foul play, but I think... <sighs> I want to say throwing up a wish is not a bad play. Because that way, if he goes into Rotom, I can switch in my Thunderous without too much trouble. Like, I risk it getting Toxic, but he wouldn't want to Toxic his own Rotom. So I'm going to throw up a Wish. As much as I don't want to let in Gallade, I still have Cresselia to switch in on Gallade. He's going to withdraw. What's he going into? Friends. Okay, so that's the Rotom. Okay, good. Good stuff. So we're going to throw up a Wish. Alright, so I can pass this into multiple things. We're back up to full. I can pass this into... I could just go for a foul play again. What do I lose? I have a wish up. He toxics himself, that's good for me because this Rotom is annoying. Yeah, we'll foul play. He's gonna go for Volt, yep. He doesn't even toxic, good. Alright, so now something else has to take a foul play and I'm back up to full anyway because of my wish. So what's it gonna be? What's it going to be, Greg? What are you sending in? I don't think he's ever going to bring in his Volibee again on me. Because he knows that I'm faster. He goes into Tossed. That is... Okay, never mind. There goes my uh, my prediction. Alright, so we're going to get off a nice foul play there. I think he wants to capitalize on my Taunt at this point. Because he knows that I can't. he can't do anything to me. I think he's going to make a double. Either into Celesteela... No, he wouldn't bring in Celesteela on a taunt. That doesn't make any sense. 
He's probably going to bring in Gallade. I'm, I think I'm going to foul play again. Because you don't want to stay in on a taunt. I'm just trying to think of the way that Greg thinks. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to foul play again. I'm going to foul play again. As he's going to withdraw, yeah. Go to Gallade. Gregory 6000, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Good, we're gonna get off a lot of damage on this thing. He's gonna get his justified boost, which is fine. You know what? I'm not too worried about it. Uh, that's gonna do a tremendous amount and leave him, like, at nothing. Thundee revenges this thing with, like, knockoff. So, we're good to go. That did a lot. Woo! Gallade to Quillfish. Bakugo. After he intimidates, Zen Headbutt is the only thing doing damage to me. Or Psycho Cut. But why are both on the, on the Calic? What the heck? What the hell kind of Calic is this? Why are both Psycho Cut and, uh, and Zen Headbutt there? I don't understand. Alright, so we got off a lot of damage on this Gallade, which is great, because now it's in range of a Spike. I think even if he Drain Punches here, he's still in range of a Spike. So we're going to get off a uh, nice Intimidate here, as he's going to go for his Mega Evolution. If we can clear out this Gallade, then... Whew, I can bring in Umbreon on the Rotom every single time without fear, which is awesome. As he's going to go for the X-Scissor. Oh, oh, hold up. You have X-Scissors and Headbutt? Did you actually prep? Oh, did you prep for this? Hold up. I mean, Zen Headbutt still only does 64%. And he's revengeable by U-Turn from Decidueye. He has a Defogger, though. I have Dual Taunt. Does he get an opportunity to defog at this point? I have Ice Punch. He gets it on Decidueye, I guess. That's about it. Um. I'm thinking about switching in my Metagross, because if he has X Scissor, then he likely doesn't have Knockoff. I mean, he can have both. Nah, I need to get rid of this thing now. Waterfall. Do you have Zen? No, he withdraws. Okay, so he's dead to Spikes. Goes into Toss. This is the Vullaby. We're gonna get off some damage on this, and we're also gonna taunt it. Because we're faster than Umbreon, so we're faster than Vullaby. By nature. Alright, so we're gonna taunt here. He can't really do anything to me. He can knock off, I guess. That's about it. But I am gonna taunt to prevent him from recovering and also to prevent him from defogging, because that spike is what's going to keep Galliot out of this game. So as long as I can keep that spike up, we're good to go. I'm going to taunt this thing, yep. Try to recover in my face, I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, we're going to fire off a Poison Jab now. Uh, I could flinch him, but I'd rather go for Poison Jab on the Rotom Switch. Get a potential Poison. And like I said, now I can always switch an Umbreon on his Rotom. I don't care about it coming in anymore, which is awesome. I'm so glad that did so much damage to the Galate, dude. Ah, oh, that was so good. All right, let's go. All right, so I just have to be very careful with my Cresselia against the Zygarde. I also want to keep this thing because I can intimidate the Zygarde. He's going to withdraw, probably go to Rotom. Yep, on the Poison Jab. Good stuff. Awesome. So we're going to get off this jab. That's going to do a good amount of damage. He, we don't get the poison. That's fine. That does 30%. So now we're going to find out what kind of Rotom this is right here. Rotom Wash. Quillfish. Poison Jab. 31 to 36. If he's... Okay, so I think he's max defense, but like with not a bold nature. Something like that. It's around there. Alright, so now I can always switch an Umbreon. Like, this thing does not threaten Umbreon at all. Like, yes, it can Toxic me, but that's all it can do. It can never Volt Switch into Gallade, which is what I was terrified of to begin with, so. Yep, there's the Volt. What'd you bring it in? By the way, I didn't mention this in the Team Builder, but another reason I have Taunt is that so that Zyard can't constantly set up on me. Like, it can't go for sub-coil, sub-coil. I'll just be able to, to stop it dead in its tracks. Whether it subs first or coils, it doesn't really matter. Kind of wishing I had HP Ice right about now on uh, on Thunderous over HP Ground, but I think it's still going to come into play later. Let's see. What does he bring in? 
Yeah, he can bring in Volibee because I'll just taunt him. He can't even double into his Gallade because it dies. Having rocks up at this point would have been so good. Because, like, nothing, absolutely nothing would have come in on me. So if his Zygarde comes in, I think I'm going to go for a taunt first. Then a wish. And then pass it into Cresselia. Because I think Cress is faster than my... Um yeah, Cress is automatically faster than Umbreon. So it outspeeds the Volibee so I can double Ice Beam it. He's going to go back into Volibee. Again, I don't really care because I just taunt this thing. Like, you can make as many doubles as you want, Greg. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep taunting. Like I said, I beat this Volibee 1v1 because I packed taunt. I'm glad I packed taunt. Oh, man, that's good. I'm glad he made it super slow, too. Because <laughs> he could have sped crept this. Like, he could have sped crept Umbreon speed creeping his Alola whack. But he didn't. So, nice. All right. I mean, if I taunt the Celesteela, that changes nothing. It's just as good. He's going to withdraw, that's fine. What are you bringing in? Friends? Rotom? Okay, cool. So it can't taunt here. Which means I'm pretty much free to throw up a wish in the air. Or go for a foul play. Either one, really. Either one works. He's getting recovery on his Rotom, but that's really all he's doing. Umbreon is going to stay here and just wall the heck out of him. So he's taunted, he can't Toxic. We're just going to throw out another Foul Play, I think, at this point. Uh, no, I'm going to go for a Wish. I'm going to go for a Wish. He's going to Volt Switch, I don't care. That doesn't matter. Like, his Volibee's not taking damage, and his Rotom's not taking damage. But if we keep doing this, he's not gaining anything in the end. He's wasting my Taunts, I guess? Like, that's, that's about all he's doing. So I went for a Wish here. I honestly don't mind taunting again. Really. Really, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just gonna taunt again. Cause like, taunt is so good against him. It keeps his Zygarde from setting up, it keeps his uh, Nihiligo from getting up rocks, like... I- is he gonna knock off my... Nope, can't use Roost, bro. Sorry. Not happening. We're throwing out a foul play. He's forced out, I think. I'm always going to taunt in this position. Yeah, he's going to switch out, for sure. Friends, that's Rotom. I'm slowly chipping this thing away. I think he wants to land a Toxic on me. I think. I think that's the point of making this play right here. Do I allow him to do so? At this point. Huh. I'm thinking of going to Metagross here. But I need to know how much Metagross does to Volibee. Volibee. Metagross. Alphonse. If he's 252 Eviolite. Uh, item. Eviolite. I do 42 to 50. I think that's what he's at. Hmm. I think he's trying to toxic me. I think he's annoyed of this. Yeah, so we're gonna go to uh, Metagross here. I'm gonna make the switch. Like, I, might, I may allow in his Zygarde, but that's all I'm allowing in realistically. I guess if he's Max Fizz Duff. Bold. Ghost for Toxic doesn't work. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Do you have Will-O-Wisp? Alright, we're gonna go for... Thing is, if he is Max Fizdef, I can't knock him out with one Ice Punch. But I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks, because the thing is, if his, um, if his Volibee comes in here, tossed, yeah, it's gonna be his Volibee. He's at forty percent. The thing is, if he defogs, if he roosts, then cool. If he defogs, would you defog here and let your Volibee be 2 it KO'd? I don't know. I'm going to Ice Punch. We'll see how much it does. It's probably a Fizdef variant, and it can probably take this. Yeah, it does. 
He goes for Defog, though. Okay, so he leaves himself super low. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. So now I'm free to go for another Ice Punch at this point. So he can't bring in Gallade. He can, the only thing he can bring in on this is Rotom or Steela. So yeah, I'm going to go for another Ice Punch. I'm going to try to knock this thing out. He's probably going to try to Roost. I would think. Okay, good. So Volibee's gone. Alright, so we allowed Gallade back in at the cost of not allowing him to defog any more this game. Which is great. I'm, I'm very happy with that. We'll take that. 38 minutes. So we knock out the Volibee, that's our first knockout. Whew. I just checked to see if I was recording. I was scared there for a second. <laughs> Definitely am recording. Gallade comes in, I can bullet punch it. Steela comes in, I can get back up my rocks, which will be there to stay for the rest of the game. I think his Gallade may actually be in rocks range as well. If Zygarde comes in, Zygarde may be the issue. I probably should have ice punched on the Volibee switch. I mean, it didn't really change anything. He, gets a, he got to defog away a spike as opposed to spikes and rocks. If I did that, big deal. Like, I mean, I, one way or another, I still got rid of the Vullaby. I just kept up one less hazard, that's all. Goes into uh, Gallade. Yep. I'm going to Bullet Punch. I don't care if you have Shadow Sync. Because how much is that doing? Gallade, let's say he's Max Attack, Jolly... Which Shadow Sneak over Psycho Cut for some reason is on this. <laughs> 19 to 23. Goodbye, Gallade. Goodbye. Boom. Alright, two down for the cost of one. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Next up. Alright. It's looking very good for Thunderous to put in a lot of work late game. I need to keep this Metagross healthy for his Nihiligo, because I can Earthquake or Bullet Punch it. John W is going to come in, that is the, um, the Celesteela. How, can you, how much can you do to me with a Flamethrower Celesteela? Especially Defensive Flamethrower does 40% max. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that, as long as rocks stay up. Yeah, let's go for Stealth Rocks, screw it. He has Toxic, he's not an offensive set. There's no way he's off- What? My stylus. Leech Seed, okay. I'm cool with that. That's fine. You can go for as many seeds as you want, my friend. I mean, he did 12% to me as opposed to 40, so I will take that. <laughs> um, I don't want to go into Decidueye, because Deci- Ah, uh, actually, hold on a second. What does Decidueye even do this game? I could go to Sidueye and then just fire off a T-Bolt with Thunderous on the U-turn switch. Yeah. Because I don't want him perpetually leech seeding. Actually, let's go Bakugo. Let's go to Bakugo. Because one, I get off the Intimidate for any kind of physical attack he could have, like Stone Edge or Heavy Slam. <clears throat> and two, I can get up a Spike right now. I can also throw off a Waterfall if I want to. He goes for Toxic. Nope. Uh-uh. Not happening. Alright. So I can Taunt here. I can go for a Poison Jab, a Waterfall. Uh, what does Taunt do for me? It stops the Zygarde from setting up. Yeah, so I'll go for Taunt. Yeah. No. No freaking way you're getting up more Leech Seeds, my friend. Nope, not happening. I'm gonna go for a spike. I don't care if I allow in Zygarde, it's not a big deal. Because I still have this Intimidator, I still have Bullet Punch on deck, I still have Toxic from Thundee, my Cresselia is still technically alive. He's gonna withdraw, he's gonna let me get up a spike, I assume. Magic, who's this? Oh, this is the uh, Nihiligo, yeah. Okay. Specs, is the Specs Power Gem is the only thing that kills me. Specs Thunderbolt doesn't do it. 
Is he gonna prioritize getting up rocks, is the question. Um, I could just go Metagross and not let this thing take the damage. Or I can knock this thing out with a waterfall now. And then that opens the door to Thunderous. And if he specs, then I go into Thunderous. It's into, um... Into Metagross after. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna Waterfall. Get up your rocks. Yeah. Goodbye, Nihiligo. Cool. So we're gonna get rid of this thing. I'm... A little bit scared of the Zygarde. I'm starting to be a little bit more scared of it because now his rocks are up. If he's a sub-coil set, I could be in trouble. He's gonna bring it in now. Okay, I need to know if Quillfish's um, Quillfish, you break sub with Waterfall on no HP, but that's not good enough. I have to go directly into Blur. Because I can taunt this thing and then I can get off Intimidates. If it's sub coil, it's not a huge deal because Cresselia can deal with it once I get off a wish into it. So that's not a problem. I'm gonna go for the D dance, yep. Huh. Interesting. How much does foul play do to you? Your Z. Zygarde, 252, Adamant. Adamant, Outreach. Plus one. Z. Uh, does 97 max to me. What am I at? 188 out of 201. 188 out of 201. I'm at 93. So I am technically in range, but then Cresselia lives anything. And he has to lock himself in Outrage, which gives me the Ice Punch. So that should be fine. How much does Fall Play do to him once he's at plus two? 69 to, to 82, which I think is in range. But he doesn't need that much speed. Ah! This thing's a problem. I'm gonna Fall Play. Shouldn't have let Cresselia get toxic, but I didn't think he would have toxic on Rotom and Selly. This thing is an issue. I do have Decidueye, which kind of baits him into clicking a dragon move. So if it is Outrage, then he could have Crunch. He could have Crunch and not have to waste it. That's annoying. I should have gone to Thunderous and toxic him. Because he would have been on a timer and I have Protect on this and Cresselia. That's what I should have done. He's going to go for another D-Dance. I'm sure he lives this foul play easily. How much does a plus 2,000 arrows do to me? I think he's in range of Bullet Punch, actually. Hold on, that foul play did a lot. He took 16. He's at 10. So that's 26. So 75. So yeah, I think it was in range of... Did he take 16? He took 6 plus 12, that's 18. He took 18, so 28. So yeah, I think Metagross's bullet punch knocks him out. Uh, I do 16 to 19 to a no HP variant, 14 to 17 to max HP. Yeah, I'm fine. And while this can kind of stall out his team, I think Thunderous just cleans up now. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for... Because my hazards are up, he dies to hazards. I lose nothing clicking foul play. What does he go for? Z? Yeah. Sure. That's fine. Dragonium. I'm gonna knock him out with a bullet punch anyway. It's fine. Devastating Drake. As, ex as expected in the team builder. <laughs> Let's uh, get rid of Umbreon on here. Because we're gonna die. It's a plus two. And goodbye, Blair. Sorry. Thanks for all your work. You did amazing. Good job taunting everything, dude. 
Ma'am, sorry. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to Alphonse. I mean, he could be E-Speed, but E-Speed's gonna do nothing to me. And his Nihiligo's gone, I don't need this anymore. Bullet Punch is easily gonna knock him out. He doesn't have leftovers or anything, so... So that's just Bullet. I, the, like, my thought process was that he had to DD twice to, to try to win. So... That was uh, that was the idea between uh, behind foul playing and not going for wish, for example. So this should knock him out easily, like even if he's a max defense variant, I think. Yeah, I do 11 to 14. He's dead, guaranteed. And like if he switches out, whatever. <laughs> At this point, he's gonna withdraw. <laughs> okay. All right, Greg, you do you, man. You do you. I mean, I had a situation like this in um, in one of my mocks, actually. The second my Thunderous gets in, it's over. Because I, I T-bolt this, I T-bolt the... Uh, I t oh, I love it. I like this song. Uh, I T-bolt the Celesteela, I T-bolt the Rotom, and his uh, Zygarde dies to hazards. So there's not much he can do. Uh, he's going to Volt Switch here, I'm pretty sure. Do I just go to Celesteela? I think at this point I can go to Decidueye, I want to say. That or I can sack Quillfish, but Quillfish getting off a bunch of Intimidates on the Celesteela could be cool. It's it's more so Leech Seed that I'm worried about. So I'm going to go to... I should let something drop. That's what I should do. I should just let something drop. Uh, does anything allow his Zygarde to set up again? Because I'm thinking of defogging, I just remembered I have defog. And if I get rid of the rocks, then Thunderous doesn't have to worry about like Leech Seed stall, multiple protects, is what I'm thinking. So I think I go... I'm gonna go to Kikyo here. Switch out. I'm gonna keep this thing alive. Just for differential's sake, we're already uh, 33. We're probably like 40 minutes into the into the video, a little bit more, 41. There's the toxic. Don't really care. Uh, his Rotom got two turns of leftovers recovery, I think, after taking the bullet punch. He's gonna switch out here into Celesteela, definitely, 100%. He's not gonna stay in. He's got a clean switch into Sully. So I think at this point, I just. U-turn. Yeah, I'm gonna U-turn. You're not gonna stay in on a Decidueye. Yeah. Alright, so we get in our Thunderous. Good. This thing has taken no damage. Thundee's definitely not gonna knock it out. Celesteela. Specially defensive versus Thunderous. Eneru. 59 to 71. Okay. So we'll do it. Eneru. Don't forget, I can still waterfall this thing, by the way. I can still waterfall this thing to knock it out, and then Decidueye wins with Leaf Played. Leaf Played? <laughs> no, Blade. Alright, so we're just gonna Thunderbolt. I could knock off as well, get rid of his leftovers, but I think Thunderbolting is the better play. As he's gonna take it. He's a uh, Wakan Berry set, okay. Show me the, uh, show me the Stone Edge. Show me the Stone Edge right now. We get the Para. Oh, that sucks. Goes for Stone Edge. Ha ha! Yes! Let's go. Charty Berry. It worked! It worked, ladies and gentlemen. It worked. Let's T-Bolt again. <laughs> That's sick. I love that that worked. He's gonna sack his Zygarde. To the, uh... Wait. Don't we only have rocks up? I think we do. No, no, no. Okay, we have both. <laughs> I was like, what, what happened here? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so Zygarde's gone. So I think we got this because of the Charty Berry. Rotom should die. If it's a physical, a, a physically defensive variant. Uh, Rotom Wash, yeah, like, take off this. Don't make, whoops. Don't make it calm. Make it bold. 45 to 54. Okay, so I won't die. So actually, do I want to save this? And bring it in after? And go into... 
No, it's fine, because Spirit Shackle sh uh, plus Waterfall should be able to clean up the game. Yeah, so we're just going to T-Bolt. Just going to get off a lot of damage on this. And, like, if he Hydro Pumps, he has the chance to miss. If he uh, Leech Seeds, then that's fine. Uh, not Leech Seeds. If he Volt Switches, then I think there's even a chance that I don't die to it. It does 37 to 45 if he's 60 Special Attack. Uh, 35 to 42. Uh, no, no, I think I die. Yeah, I, I definitely die. We're just going to go for the T-Bolt, though. Get off as much damage as possible. And if we die, then we go into Cool Fish and we Waterfall. Yeah. Beautiful. Good job, Greg. You you knocked out the Thunderous. Uh, Thunderous is gone. Enaru, thank you for your work as well. In comes Stila. I can't remember if I saw Leftovers on Stila. Either way, Waterfall should be able to... Because it's paralyzed too, right? So that's that's what I was thinking. Okay, it doesn't have leftovers. So I'm going to go to... He can't... We've seen, what? Uh, Toxic, Leech Seed, Stone Edge. How much does Spirit Shackle do to this thing? Because if that's the case, I'll just win with that. Uh, especially defensive versus the um, Decidui. Kikyo Spirit Shackle does 32 to 38, which is, I believe, in range if he has no physical defense investment. Uh, I think it's still the safer play because he doesn't get off. Yeah, it's still the safer play because he he doesn't get off the, um, the Leech Seed on anything. I take rocks, I take poison after he attacks me, but it's fine. This is fine. I'm just going to uh, Spirit Shackle. He better not have rest. This is the last move. That would actually be really bad. Spirit Shackle. Get this off. How much is this going to do? Uh, almost enough. Goes for Air Slash. Okay, so that's going to knock me out. Uh, maybe. It does, yeah. Okay, it's fine. I still have the Wakan Berry. <laughs> cool Fish. Uh, not Cool Fish. Decidueye is gone. Uh, I didn't see what rose, but I don't think it matters. I think Quillfish is still strong enough to, to knock this thing out. I think it's his physical defense, but he's paralyzed. I can flinch him. Like, that doesn't matter anymore. Plus, if his Rotom doesn't have Pain Split, it can't beat my Cresselia. So, I'm going to get off the Intimidate right here. Attack falls. And he's at, uh, like, 8%. So, Waterfall should easily take him out. And if he switches out, he dies to rocks. So, <laughs> I'm not worried. I was a little bit worried before, but now I'm fine. Uh, plus, I can still bullet punch the uh, the Rotom and knock it out from where it's at, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to get off the Waterfall here. Easily going to take out... Okay, we get a crit. I don't think that mattered. Pretty sure. <laughs> knock that thing out, and all that's left is the Rotom. Celestila is gone. Friends comes in, and ladies and gentlemen, I think we have made playoffs. Yes, he dies to rocks. Oh, uh, no, he's... What? Oh, my God. <laughs> my, my HP bar is actually blocking the last little sliver of health that he has left. That is hilarious. All right, P-Jab. Show me the Volt Switch. Pain Split... Oh, God. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not good. Can I take... Do we get the poison? Um, this is bad, because I don't have anything left to hit this thing, and it can pain split up on my Cresselia. Hold on. Rotom Wash to Quillfish Bakugo without this 60 Spatak investment. 36 to 43. How much am I at? 65 out of 171? Um, enter. 38. Okay, so I still have a chance to live it as well. Um. How do I play around this? This is annoying. Why is Quillfish not faster? Because he ran some speed. Because normally, 4 speed Rotom Wash has 107 speed, so I would outspeed it by 1. Um. This is actually really annoying. That's what I'll do. I'll go into Serenity. 
to let it take the damage. I want it to take the damage because from his Volt Switch because uh, that way he won't be able to pain split up on me. Show me the Volt Switch, yep. He's at 25% of 157. Um, I'm gonna Psy Shock. Goes for Pain Split, that's fine. RHP of values hardly change. Am I gonna lose this? I just have to leave him in range of Bullet Punch, essentially. Does he have something to knock me out? He has Toxic, Pain Split, Volt Switch. What's the last move? Is it Hydra? I doubt it. Could be Shadow Ball. I don't think his Volt Switch knocks me out from here. So we're just gonna go for Psy Shock. He's faster than my Cresselia too. That's crazy. Don't show me Hydro Pump. Because I have nothing to hit this Rotom with my Metagross. Wow. This is annoying. I don't think he can pain split anymore. I can't moonlight. I probably should have protected that turn to take an extra round of poison to leave him lower. That would have been the play. I don't think he can knock me out with Volt. I'm pretty sure he can't based on the damage from before. Yeah, it does like 17% max and we're over 20. That's from no Spatak, obviously, but don't show me Hydro Pump, Greg. Psyshock did like 18, so I think he is physically defensive. If he's at 8%, does Metagross's Bullet Punch knock him out? Alphonse. Wow. Why does it do that little? Does like 5 to 5.7. Crap! Don't tell me I lost this. Toxic, why? Why would you toxic? He survives. I'm gonna lose 18% here. I think I died of Volt Switch now. Pretty sure. Yeah, I do. He's faster than me. Should have moonlighted there. I mean, toxicing didn't really make sense. All you had to do was click Volt Switch. Okay, so this is bad because that means I have to get my Metagross lower as well. And that's going to be hard with leftovers. Very, very hard. Ice Punch does 12 to 15. I mean, might as well start now, right? Might as well start now. Let's switch out. <clears throat> There's the Volt. He's gonna gain back a ton of health if I stay in here. And I can't hit him. That's crappy. I didn't think he would ha bring Air Slash on Steela. Come on. Why did I go to Decidui? Why didn't I go to Quillfish? Damn. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is sack. Uh, Serenity here. I have to play around this thing like a god. Because of Pain Split. Yeah. He's now at 22-ish. 
percent. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Bakugo. This is so stupid. Uh, I got off the Intimidate, which doesn't do anything. He's gonna go for Volt, so I'm gonna go into Alphonse here. I'm gonna get it even lower on the Volt switch. Cresselia is dead. Oh my god. Why did I think I could just easily t take on this Rotom at the end? Alright, so I think he's healed up to a point where if I bring in Quillfish, he actually loses health from going for Pain Split, and he gives me back health. Actually, you know what? I should be trying to give Quillfish health. Because then I could live a Volt Switch. That's what I should be trying to do. So I'm going to go for Ice Punch. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Ice Punch. Because if he if he gives me back enough health... Man, I think I lost this. Oh, no! Come on! You've got to be kidding me. I, like, need a freeze. I need a freeze. That's my only way to win, is freeze. Why did I go to Sidui? Why am I dumb? <laughs> Why am I dumb? All I needed to do was go into Quillfish and click Waterfall. Even if he Leech Seeds, it doesn't matter, because he's paralyzed, I have a chance to flinch. He can miss. Ah, oh, that was so dumb. Why did I do that? Man. I need a freeze. Right now. Does he pain split first? He goes for Hydro Pump. It's gonna leave me at 10. I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch. This is gonna do nothing. What if it's a speed tie between Rotom and Bakugo? That would be like my only way to win at this point, right? Is if it's a speed tie. I'm gonna go for another bullet punch. I think it might be. How fast is my Metagross? It's 90, Cresselia is... 107 as well. Did he outspeed me every single turn? I think he did. Oh no, I'm gonna lose this to missed speed. Are you kidding me? Come on, dude. I can't believe this. What a huge misplay. Are you kidding me? Speed tie and win. Go. Nope. I lost. Wow, guys. Hype for no reason. That's crazy. I'm a little bit upset. One, because I didn't get a poison with the, the poison jab, but I mean, like, whatever. <laughs> it's 30%. Two, because I sacked my Decidueye stupidly. That was so dumb. I'm really upset at myself. And you guys should be too. Slew me in the comments. Kill me. <laughs> that was so dumb. And if I had like T-Punch over... If I had T-Punch over uh, Earthquake on Metagross, I might have been able to, to pull that one out. Just because it would have done double the damage of Ice Punch, like 24%-ish. Ah. T-Punch over Earthquake is what I meant. Anyway, guys, that's it uh, for this game. Go check out Greg's side uh, in the description down below. Uh, his link will be there. And we still need to win a game, or else I'm in, uh, I'm in hot water. 
Uh, I kind of wanted to end up in first, so I hope that Leo loses, uh, but I doubt he will, so uh, we might end up having to play Jolt round one of the playoffs, which is not exactly what I wanted, but uh, that is uh, that is the game, guys. Again, go check out Greg in the description. Leave a like for me if you guys did enjoy this uh, this absolute destruction uh, from Marotom Wash, and, uh, which I said at the beginning of the game would not be uh, a problem, by the way, if you guys uh, remember that part. And yeah, uh, make sure to, uh, to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.